<sighs> you know what this is. Hey, Fragrance family, I'm Dave, and I'm a Fragrance Bro, of course, your best source for everything. Fragrance related today is all about the news, but not just the news, it is November hype. These are the best fragrances, I think, that came out in the month of November. First, we have a new one that just came out from Imaginary Authors, and that is a Whiff of Waffle Cone. Now, this one came out pretty quickly. It didn't really have much of a press uh, release at all, and it just came out. So it took everyone by surprise, but this is a collaboration with the Portland-based ice cream company called Salt and Straw. I just got my bottle a couple of days ago, and it's amazing. I'll have more on this to come, but the notes in this are vanilla, heavy cream, salted caramel, amiris, orgate, which is an almond syrup, apparently, sometimes scented with rose water and orange blossom, from what it says, Saigon cinnamon, and ice cream shop. And I can tell you, it smells like walking into an ice cream shop. It's amazing. And the price is outstanding. This is $65. So yeah, November hype, starting off with a bang here. Next, we have a new one from a new line that just was released uh, this week. And this is Chasing Memories by the House of Broken Anatomy Perfumes. Here's the box here, which is a good box. This is a really great fresh scent. There are three in the line currently with more to come. The notes in this are uh, bergamot, grapefruit, orris, orange flower, absolute, sandalwood, and white musk. And it's great. Now, if I timed it right, there should be a full review of that as well. So definitely go and watch that if it's out. If it's not, just wait. Now, next is a fragrance that I talked about in the last video of October Hype, or Best New Fragrances for October, and this is Amouage Enclave. Now, this is from a new collection within the Amouage line, and Enclave is spectacular. I would describe this as kind of like a spicy, minty amber, a thick amber with spicy minty overtones. I just received this for review and I'm really excited about this one. This is one that I was really excited about last month and smelling it, yeah, it's great. <laughs> it's super beastly. Notes in this are cardamom, spearmint, pink pepper, cinnamon bark, rose absolute, patchouli, alibinum, saffiano, vetiver, amber extreme, and labdanum, and it is a beast. Awesome, yeah, stay tuned for that. Okay, and next are two new fragrances from the house of By Killian, and I think I may have talked about this on the last uh, episode, I'm not exactly sure. These are Angel Share, which is a cognac-based fragrance, which has vanilla and caramel and some gourmand-like overtones, fantastic. And then Roses on Ice, which is a rosy cucumber gin fragrance. Gin being kind of the main player here, and it's also fantastic. Of the two, I think I like Roses on Ice better, but Angel Share is getting more of the hype recently. But both of these are spectacular. I'm going to have a full review of this coming soon, so stay tuned for that. Also, bad box alert. <laughs> All right, so those are the fragrances that I currently have. But let's look at the news. Now, these are new fragrances that are being released or just came out. I'm looking on Fragrantica and now smell this for the news. I have them on my computer right here and let's just get straight to it. Okay, the first one, I'm gonna butcher this, is Jardin uh, de Crevain's L'Eau de Taipi. And this one is um, a new line that I, I have not had experience with. And they have this in two concentrations, an eau de parfum as well as a body splash. Now this fragrance house bases their fragrances on famous literary works. And this one is based on Taipi, a peep at Polynesian life, written by Herman Melville, who also wrote Moby Dick. It looks really cool. Notes in this are bergamot, elemi, tamarind, uh, tiare, marine notes, coconut, frangipani, and white musk. And like I said, I believe there are two concentrations of these, so you might probably want to go for the eau de parfum, <laughs> but it looks really cool. Next is Liquide by Liquides Imaginaires. And this one is a niche brand, again, I don't have any experience with, looks really cool. And this is, apparently looks like it's based on uh, mercury. The byline for this says, I am liquid silver. Pretty interesting concept. Notes in this are bergamot, labdanum, cardamom, black pepper, metallic notes, ozonic notes, iris, henna, cedar, saffron, suede, and animalistic notes. So definitely gonna be a cool, interesting, strange fragrance. Probably nothing I've ever smelled before. So I'm really excited to see what that one is like. Next is Serge Luton's Tarab. This one is really cool. This one is one of their bell jar fragrances. Now this is apparently an exclusive to Harrods in London. Um, so. I guess uh, everyone in the US will probably have to get this from London. This is apparently inspired by a 300 year old perfume uh, from India called Shamama. Some of the notes in this are agarwood and rose, woods, resins, smoky notes, candied fruit, oud from Cambodia, Turkish rose, uh, cypriol, 
pine needles, cedar, and patchouli. It's gonna be a really thick fragrance, and I'm really looking forward to trying that. Probably not gonna be my thing, but I am still really excited for it. Next is a new fragrance by Wilhelm Parfumery, and that is Skins X Wilhelm, or Skins by Wilhelm, or Skins with Wilhelm. Now, Wilhelm Parfumery has collaborated with the Dutch uh, brand called Skins Cosmetics. Now, I'm not exactly sure what the inspiration behind this was, but apparently it was a shared kind of vision from both brands. The notes in this are bergamot, juniper berries, black tea, lavender, leather, violet, Palo Santo, which is really interesting, sandalwood, and papyrus. That sounds really cool. Definitely want to check that one out for real. Next are three new fragrances from a new fragrance line called Hormone Paris. Actually, it's five new fragrances. I thought it was three. It's five. So each of these fragrances are based on hormones, and they are serotonin, dopamine, uh, caspeptin, adrenaline and oxytocin. So they're trying to recreate the fragrance equivalent mood of what these hormones do to the human body. Really interesting concept. Serotonin is the happiness hormone or a good mood hormone, they say. Uh, notes in this are coffee, basil, amber, vanilla tobacco, tonka bean, cinnamon, coumarin, white musk, and white orchid. Adrenaline, of course, is the fight or flight hormone. Notes in this are incense, amber, sandalwood, pine, carnation, oud, geranium, rose, ambergris, cashmere, and saffron. Oxytocin is known as a hormone of confidence, induces feelings of calmness, benevolence, and satisfaction. Notes in this are bergamot, tangerine, lemon, basil, apple, clove, cinnamon, rice, vetiver, and musk. That sounds really good. I need some more calmness. <laughs> now, kispeptin is a new one to me. Uh, this is a group of proteins encoded by the uh, KISS-1 gene that suppresses metastases of melanoma and breast cancer, apparently. Um, notes in this are licorice, lavender, coffee, musk, orange blossom, cashmere and oud, and camphor. Really cool. All right, and the last one is dopamine, which is also known as the happiness hormone uh, that is essential for forming feelings of love and affection. Notes in this are amber, musk, sandalwood, oud, leather, saffron, and Turkish rose. Really cool line. Definitely want to check that one out. All right, Smellbent has a couple of new fragrances. They are re-releases from 2009, and these are limited editions for holiday 2020. They are Elf Fulfilling Prophecy and A Scent Called Home. Now, Elf Fulfilling Prophecy is, in a nutshell, tobacco spice, and notes in that are aged tobacco, absolute, tossed with incense, blood cedar, vanilla, and mulling spices. A Scent Called Home, in a nutshell, is Snuggly Amber, Sounds good. Notes are aged amber brightened with chai spices, orange peel, and crisp mahogany. Really cool. So yeah, definitely want to check those out for sure. That second one, A Scent Called Home, sounds fantastic to me. Our good friend, perfumer, and former YouTuber, Kerosene, has a new fragrance called Sweetly Known. It's a new gourmand fragrance, and notes in this are cardamom, cocoa, sugar, burnt caramel, vanilla, and musk. Ooh, that's gonna be a banger. All right, last but not least is a new fragrance by Aftelier Perfumes, or Mandy Aftel, and that is Violet Ambrosia, which is a violet-based fragrance. It's a pairing of violet and broom flowers. It's also mixed with vanilla and sandalwood, fresh berries, violet leaves, and bergamot. That sounds fantastic. Violet is always something I really like, so I'm really looking forward to that, and I love her line. With that, I'd like to thank my sponsor, Fragrance X. Fragrance X is an online retailer that sells thousands of legitimate fragrances for a discounted price. If you're considering buying a fragrance, definitely check out Fragrance X. I'll have a link down below to them as well as a coupon. All right, so what do you think of this month's hype? Let me know in the comments what do you think of these fragrances. Is there a fragrance that just came out that you're hyped about? let me know. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below and click that little bell so you get a notification every time I make an upload. Bye mug, because it's the best mug ever made. I'll see you next time. I'm Dave with the Fragrance Rose. Bye.